So across age groups, we need to check our anxiety level. And don't let us forget our elderly. Um, there's been advice that because they are more at prone to more severe aspects of this illness, um, they should stay out as much as possible of public domain. They should cut down on the number of visitors that come to see them. And remember, the elderly group are already isolated. Um, they, they, most of them are retired. Some of them are bereaved because of death, spousal death, etc. Or some of them even have disabilities that have caused them to become lonely. And with the extra measures of social distancing, um, and with them even an added caution that they should cut down on visitors, their loneliness is likely to be deepened. And so we should not forget our elderly. Um, we should check up on them by, by whatever means we can phone calls, video calls, if we can visit them and keep our social distancing, that would be good. Let them know that you are there to support. If you can do their groceries for them um, without coming into close um, proximity or contact with them, they should be very grateful uh, for that. And so across all age groups, children, middle age, elderly, we should not leave anybody out in this pandemic. We should right. remember to consider and take care of each body's uh, mental health.